Hi and welcome to Empower TV. My name is Josephine Campbell, but Empower TV is about you. This is the channel for you who'd like to empower yourself and your company so you can get a larger surplus. And today is about talent and career development. This episode is an anti-career guide and it's relevant for whoever is in doubt of what they want to do with themselves and their life. And it's dedicated for people who want a happy career where you're thriving and you're feeling well. In speci especially this episode is dedicated to my former students. I was uh, a lecturer at Copenhagen Business School, which is a top European business school. And between the lectures, I did have quite a few conversations with my students about which subject to choose, what they want to do with their life, how to navigate, all these questions. And I got so taken by them that they inspired me to do an anti-career guide. And you see, the reason why it's an anti-career guide is that these young people have received a lot of very well-intended advice, which from my perspective seems to make them more confused than help them, even though they've been intended. So what I did is I, I made um, a survey and more than 100 students replied. They were all European students, most of them in the, in the age between 19 to 29. And um, what the survey showed me more than anything was that though I thought they were subject to pressure from parents and society, it was actually more their own expectations for themselves and their confusion. Confusion about who they are and what they are good at. So the first thing I want to share is that when I was between 19 and 29 years old, I was confused as well. It might not have seemed like it, but I didn't know what I wanted to do in life either. And as an executive coach, I meet a lot of senior people and though they look very cool and they're very senior and very experienced, some of them also sometimes have doubts about what they want to do in life. You see, it's nothing to do with ages. As we develop, we change and what was right for us at some point might not be the right thing for us to do any longer. So, based on this knowledge, I've created five tips for the anti-career guide and how to have a happy career. So here come tip number one. Do what you think is fun to do. The things that we enjoy doing are very often things we're good at doing and they're things that give us energy rather than they consume our energy. So it'd be very good for you to work with things that you enjoy doing. Tip number two, don't look for the logic. So very often it's difficult to see what the logic or the red thread in your career is until you arrive at a point where you have success. Then you can look down the line and think, oh, if I hadn't done this at that point, it wouldn't have taken me there or it wouldn't have taken me there. It's not necessarily a liner, logical career development that is the right thing for you. Do what you think is fun, not what is logic. Tip number three, ask other people what you're good at. Sometimes it can be difficult to know what you do well. Very often, the thing we do best are the things we take for granted. We think nothing of it because it's so easy for me. I don't spend any energy on doing this, so it cannot be worth a lot. And that's wrong. That's very, very wrong. That's actually this, you're, when you're in your zone, that's what you do well. So you can have a blind angle. Online, there are lots of great free tools, among others. There's one called Johari's Window. I'll put the link for you here. And Johari's Window is a tool where you can send out a request to people you work with or your friends, and you can ask them to choose some words that describes you. And you're also choosing some words for yourself and the tool gonna show what your blind, blind angle is. So I did that in the beginning of my career and I found out I had a blind spot. 
I didn't know I was idealistic. But when, when people told me, I realized, of course I am. So to me, it matters a lot that what I'm doing is contributing to the world, that I'm doing good for other people. But I was not aware of it in the beginning of my career. So good thing that I took a minor when I studied, a minor specialized in corporate corporate uh, social responsibility and sustainable business. And I did it just for me. It didn't make sense. I didn't think that I would ever work with it. But it turned out that once I got started working, it was the edge of my profile and it mattered the world. So do what you think is fun and ask other people what you're good at. And then the fourth advice is don't go for the sure thing. Don't don't you safety over passion? Jim Carrey told a great story about his father. Well, it's actually a sad story because his father wanted to be a comedian, but he was afraid of following his passion because it was not considered to be a secure path to walk. So he became an accountant and he became a very bad accountant and a miserable one. And his story didn't end very well. So. Tim Carey didn't want to make the same mistake his father did and he chose to walk the path of becoming a comedian, which was his passion. And you see, it turned out very well for him. It doesn't have to turn out well, but at least you get to do what you want to do rather than feel that something you suck doing, which seemed to be secure. Security doesn't really exist anymore anyway. The world is ever changing, so just don't count on that. The fifth and most important advice is not to compare yourself with other people. It sucks to compare with other people. It's like she can do this and why can't she and he can and he cannot and but I'm better than. It doesn't lead you anywhere useful and it's a waste of energy and it just fosters a lot of negative emotions. Don't do that. Focus on being your best self. No one else have that special gift that you have, no one else can be the best version of you. And if you have a good career advice, or if you have any questions for me, please feel free to ask me questions here below the video, and I'd love to get a thumbs up or thumbs down to hear what you think about this video. So, thank you very much for watching.